cat, because uh, my girlfriend has a cat. Uh, I didn't want to get the cat, right? My, but my girlfriend, she really wanted these cats. I didn't want the cat because I have asthma, you know, and I, you know, I'm a bit of a germaphobe. But she wanted one. I thought, well, what we'll do, I'll call up the landlord, ask him. He'll say no. He can be the bad guy. All right? So I ring him up and I'm like, yeah, we're thinking about getting a cat. He's like, yep, no problem. <laughs> so I start panicking. I'm like, um, I think you might like scratch the furniture. He's like, yeah, just get it fixed. And I'm like, um, I think he's a smoker. <laughs> this cat's got to have it. <laughs> but because the landlord was cool with it, then we had to have this big discussion, right? I didn't want the cat because I have asthma. You know, it makes it hard for me to breathe. She wanted the cat because she loves the cat. We had this big back and forth, and eventually we met halfway. We got the cat. Because <laughs> that's what a relationship's about. Compromise. You know, sh sure, I like breathing, but it's not about me. <laughs> I can do that on weekends. That's, that's fine, right? And the cat, I'm not a fan. Like, I'm... I'm such a germaphobe, I can't get friendly with it, right? Like, I, I lie down on the couch, the cat sits on my chest. My girlfriend's like, ooh, he's giving you cuddles, he's giving me ringworm. <laughs> I know what's happening, right? It sheds fur, there's like a layer of white hair on everything. Like, I walk around in black socks, after like two minutes, looks like I'm wearing lamingtons. <laughs> She, she pats it. Every time I go to pat it, I go, nah. She's like, oh, he's frisky. He's possessed. <laughs> and when, when we got the cat, I said, look, can we, make a, can we make a compromise? Can we make a deal here? Can we not let the cat in the bedroom? Right? Because, you know, I see her. She plays with the cat. She, she dangles a ribbon down. It sees the ribbon. It's like, fajar, fajar, fajar. I don't want it in the bedroom, you know, when I'm getting ready for bed. See something else dangling. So I'm like, look, can we, just, can we just keep the cat out of the bedroom? She's like, yep, not a problem. First night, we've got this cat. We close the door. 30 seconds later. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, 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 watching a grown man do this <laughs> like like the cat scratching on the door meowing just 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 for hours I'll act it out for you <laughs> like this, it, it doesn't end it doesn't end. she's like Mew. and she's like oh baby the cat you know he doesn't want to sleep out there on the couch I'm like of course not it's covered in cat hair <laughs> it's gross. she's like baby we gotta we gotta fix this problem I'm like all right I'll need a sack and some bricks. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, don't turn on me, Melbourne. <laughs> he, he started it. <laughs> so the cat's there scratching on the door. Meow, meow. And she's like, look, baby, we've got to let him in. I'm like, all right, all right, fine, fine, whatever. We open the door. Cat sticks his head in, looks around, walks straight back out. <laughs> Didn't want to be in the room. Just wanted to know what was happening in the room. They say curiosity killed the cat. It almost did. It was this close.